Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Trials of Mana. I'm Sirius JG. We missed... Oh, those are not... That's not a treasure chest. That's just a bunch of green spots gathered into one place. So we did miss some treasure chests here. Oh, there's a bar that we didn't go into. Let's go check it out real quick. Had I had a lot more urgency in the last video, I might have been able to say, let's rush through this so I can get to my off-screening. But now that I kind of took my time, might as well go whole hog with it. Oh, can we jump into this water? Because I was about to say, that would be a great place to hide some treasure chests and stuff. Just in the water off to the sides if you can explore it, but it's not immediately apparent that you can. Her Majesty is still in the castle, but what can we do? It's horrible. Is Her Majesty the true queen all right? Oh, I can't actually talk to you. I haven't found any of these treasure chests, either. The mercenary knows the dark shine knight was hired on recently, but the monster still got in the castle. What is he doing? Uh, might not have the best interest of Altain at heart, that guy. No matter what, I won't shut down my business, even if they tell me I have to for COVID restrictions. Freedom! Merka! I mean, if I close up shop, everyone would be disappointed. With the castle in this state, there's nowhere left to turn. We might as well continue on as best we can. Sorry, fairy. Freedom. Altina. finding those treasure chests. I mean, could they mean in the, uh... No. It has to be here. And again, the, the treasure chests very rarely contain anything that's really worth it. It's just, uh... And I, you know, I haven't been full-on completionist about it. It's just, it's weirding me out that I haven't found either of them. And they're usually... Yeah. There we go. They're usually hidden around, like, the back corners of buildings... Three fairy walnuts? It's actually not bad haul for this game. As far as treasure boxes go. But yeah, I mean, they're going to be, you know, behind a building that you wouldn't normally bother to go behind. Or um, a little narrow alleyway that's barely visible between buildings or some, something like that, usually. if we noticed that you could even come in here. If we didn't. I will protect my grandchildren, even if it means my life. I will sacrifice my children to save my grandchildren. Even if you want to leave, the outside town is crawling with monsters. Who knows when they'll show up in town. How are we supposed to live like this? Oh, I blame the true queen. People do tend to, tend to blame whoever is in charge. Unless they have a fanatical devotion to that person based on personality. I'm not scared. Grandpa's here. I'm scared. Grandpa's here. Uh-oh. Run. Don't want to spend the whole video looking for this treasure chest, though. I said three fairy walnuts is an impressive uh, impressive drop for treasure chest in this game. Which has pretty skimpy treasure chests, but, um, like I said, have I even used Fairy Walnut in this game? It is much. With all the special abilities, like, you know, use a strike attack and, and earn an MP, finish an enemy with a strike attack and earn a uh, strong attack and earn two MP, it's actually a lot easier to manage your MP and actually use them against regular old enemies and not run out in this game than it was in, say, Secret of Mana. You're pretty much going to run out of MP and need to use Fairy Walnuts, even against a boss. If you save it all for the boss, you're still going to need a very walnut in that game. So let's, uh... Alright, let's forget it. It's not worth it. 
You've won the day, treasure chest. It's not that there was something super cool in there, like a silver bangle. I can let it go. Armored enemies. They can't be pushed back. Can attacks don't hit us hard. Use a powder charge attack to break the enemy's armor. Or else your attacks won't be as effective. Clash strikes work too. Use class strikes to push the Hojo out of the modern era. Punish the Takada and the Uesugi with class strikes. Don't be using cross cuts and shit right now. We prob probably have a boss fight coming soon. Special training. Hmm. She is more likely to have a cool new thing to get with spirit once we class change. Again, she needs to be leveled up more easily than or evenly than anyone. I could have held them out, knowing that I'm definitely gonna want to dump a lot of points into intelligence, because I believe her third class ultimate attack, regardless of which class she selects, is going to be based on intelligence training points because it's going to be a high-end spell that's not elemental. Um, and that's broadly true of whatever class she takes. Even the even the classes where the spell seems like dark and evil, I think it's linked to intelligence. Oh wait, no, they are. Dark force is linked to intelligence. So that would make sense. So she either has just a non-elemental magic or a all elements combined or a kind of evil spell, depending on her class. Oh, she got mighty. What does that do? Increased by 5%, but it's not one that it's not one that she can pass off to somebody else, and we really don't care about Charlotte's physical attack. That is not what she's here for. I'll probably get a lot more use out of Carly, actually, once we get the third class going, because I specifically am heading for a third class that has a very specific skill I like. They, like, it's just a debuff, but it only hits one enemy, but it's great for bosses, because it's like a single spell cast debuffs all of the debuffable stats in one go. Or the main ones, anyway. Come with you, fairy! A barrier is blocking the path. You too dumb to do anything about it. Our old haunting ground, our old uh, running ground, they're blip. There's even the chapel where somebody told her, oh, we never see you in here, you heathen hussy. Took the time to full sweep the place? I would imagine we could find, um... Oh, and now that I think about it, if the little cactuses have to be hidden at dungeons that everyone goes to, I may be nearing the point where I want to look at a fact for that, because... Quite a few of the dungeons that are left to go are going to be one-character-only kind of dungeons. Guard ring? Okay, so I just got done buying a bunch of those. Oops. That was a treasure chest that either was not present before, or maybe that room wasn't accessible before for Angela. Certainly that would have been way too... That would have been high-end treasure for the point in the game where you were here. I think this is where we had our lessons with... Uh, I was kind of looking for it. I think I think the scene between Angela and uh, Jose that I'm like way obsessed with for some bizarre reason, the characters of Jose and Victor, I think that was here. Place seems to be oddly empty of enemies. That may well have been something that was in the preview chapter that I just missed because it was 40 Luger, so not a big deal. This is the screen where we wave to uh, <coughs> Victor, who's presumably been eaten by monsters. Now, these monsters that are here that these mages say they can't handle, so far they've been the same monsters that the Al Tenish mages have been using against their enemies all along. The flame is flickering weakly. So why they're suddenly... I guess the village? The village people. You know, the Indian chief, the policeman. 
But I guess the village uh, folks might not have been aware that they've been using these enemies. But yeah, it's not like there's like new, scarier, more vicious monsters around. It's just... This is what the Alten the Altenish mages have been using. Okay, I believe these treasure chests were not here before. Rebel Wand. We just bought one of those, and 25,000 gold would have been enough for Angela to pay off the ransom against her and convince people not to fight her. Interesting. Well, let's turn to night. Can I actually talk to them? No, I can't. So, what the hell? There's really not a lot of point in fighting these guys with uh, magic. But yeah, we've been here before. This was the little... Uh, scene where we had the Altenish mages practicing their magic. I guess we gotta go downstairs. Oh, this is the wrong room for that. Now, weirdly, the optional super boss in the SNES version was only... You could only fight it if you played as Angela or Duran. Because it appears in one of their dungeons of their final nemesis. I don't know how you fight that super boss in this game, but there's now more than one super boss for one thing. But that super boss is no longer associated with um, a dungeon that only some characters can access. Yeah, she's a little unhappy about this situation. I guess she was already going for uh, healing right, so oops. At some point, I gotta do a party wipe. We might do that in post game action. Although, I think you're meant to do a new game plus run to get ready for post game. Um, then again, that's what I heard about all the post game dungeons in Tales of Asperia, and I just decided to power through on one playthrough. do not see any point to fighting these guys other than that they'll probably be a pain in the butt during my return trip if I don't deal with them. So I missed with my big initial charge, but it, charge, but it kind of didn't matter. Different treasure box count for this place. I can't claim that I found the treasure from the previous town or anything like that. Gold item seed. Now that I know that even with a level 4 box, they can sometimes give you freaking candy, but they're supposed to be the key to getting some of the highest level items you can get during the main story portion of the game, I'm not inclined to use those to pad out my um, seed planter level. Come to me! I guess that's Charlotte who says that. Flame coin. So a full clear here? Probably not necessary, but... Did I do... Oh, one of us got hit with Evil Gate. That's no fair. That's my spell! You can't use that against us! So it missed its intended target, but its splash damage might have hit the chest knight. On that second holy bolt. Yeah, I'm thinking I might have, uh, might have more to do here than I thought as far as... Oh, I'll quickly beat the, uh... Queen of Reason plot portion here, and we'll get out there and just run around. No, I think we're gonna have a uh, have a full video here, maybe even another video to deal with the end of all this. 
I was hoping this would be a treasure chest that I didn't have to fight for. And it's another gold item seed. There's no point in doing that while he's still armored. No, you're not hitting me with evil gate. That's my spell. You can't use it. I guess I was hit by it. After all. Yeah, I'm really kind of playing fast and loose with... Fairy. We got a Mondo icon. Aren't they the ones who knew the secret of eternal youth thanks to the pineal gland? Or is that the non No particular reason to deal with these guys, actually. So, I'm just kind of... We'll, we'll never be back here. That's why I'm trying to do a full exploration, but... Oh, I wonder what that is. And if it matters at all. All right, there's one left. Everybody go after him. Don't just kind of stand around taking area of effect damage. And that is Duran. No one can beat him. He will increase his training in the field of uh, luck. Because when I say increase, I mean begin. Because no points have been put there. I need to consider saving training points. Since I know I'll be upgrading soon, but... Eh. Barrier on the upper levels is gone. Okay, well, this is what we actually needed to get to. I kind of figured that would be at the tippity top of this path, but uh, I was apparently mistaken. Let's head back there in that case and explore up there since it's apparently just dead ends with possible treasure. I uh, see this is a dead end with treasure, but I probably can't get the treasure without dealing with the enemies. Very I'm just man to do it. Manly man to ran. No one can beat him. If you're wondering what Duran, no one can beat him, is from, that's from Paladin's Quest, so. I like that LP of mine. It's like my second LP, or maybe it was my third. It was my third. Um, and I, I do enjoy that one, but it is sufficiently long. It is probably not going back worth going back to listen to if the only reason you would be doing so is to hear the initial appearance of Unread. No one can beat me. Fun series. Check it out if you're looking for something to watch. Not, uh, not just solely to find out about the origin story of Duran. No one can beat me. Bye. Bye. Losers. Uh -huh. See, this is a this is a puzzle worthy. Of, oh, three items, three silver item seeds is not too shabby when we're looking for things to just throw in that damn pot to get it up to level five before I start burning more gold uh, seeds and getting candy out of them. But uh, that puzzle was worthy of a. Uh, little cactus. Serious brain power went into solving that one. I mean, yeah, you're thinking to yourself, oh, I could have solved that. It's because you saw me solve it. There's no way you would have had the brilliance. I mean, I got smart fans. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, the tactical genius I showed there, that doesn't come along every day, guys. You gotta, you gotta, be, you gotta be honest with yourselves about that. I mean, just like, just for that, I feel like I should be going to a genius party, which will begin at genius o'clock. So okay, like it's not there at all. But for a brief moment, I thought they had like those, like that pile of rubble was also containing lots of like crushed, those creepy realistic face dolls that like you know tend to get possessed by demons in movies. Yep. 
And you know, uh, Taya got possessed by one of those. Uh, so Johnny Mundo really needs to look out. Um, because that was an unresolved plot on Lucha, Lucha Underground. She could still be possessed by an evil demon doll. He, he really needs to be thinking about that kind of thing. I don't know why I'm bothering with all this. I'm pretty sure we'll get a gold statue before we have to go too much farther. There was a similar little cranny over here? No, there was not. So I think I fully explored this zone. I mean, within reason. I don't need to do every single inch of this place. Unless I jump right into a boss fight with no chance to save. But I feel like there was a gold statue in uh, Angela's chapter. I also feel like there's nothing here that I need to be looting, so let's just ignore these guys. I can't escape. Oh, interesting. That doesn't happen that often, so... Alright, so I got everybody de-armored. No, I didn't. Okay. Now everybody is de-armored. It's a reasonably tough fight. Like, these guys would have been considered bosses earlier in the game, and now we're fighting a big group of them all at once. I need to upgrade my spell shortcuts here. Those are uh, pretty out of date, probably. Oh, that's the path that might have been where I was on, right? I saw Victor. I might find Victor's desecrated remains here. I think maybe I should have hit one of those earlier gold statues. So this might be it. Too late. Now, if you wish to save Fairy, uh, that's the Queen of Reason there. You must give me that sword of yours. Yeah, the Queen of Reason is apparently also Mother! a victim in this. Just another victim. Please do not move, Princess Angela. Okay, I'm standing right here. How could you? <laughs> Call me what you will. I'll take that sword now. If you move an inch, I cannot guarantee the lives of Fairy or her man. But if you call now, you'll get a guarantee, plus what's in the box. So I don't know that much about the Crimson Wizard's backstory, except Angela already knew him from before. And he couldn't use magic either, but he is apparently an Altenian. Oh, so this is so he is committing Lay's man. Majesty here. It's rejecting you because you're a douchebag. Ha ha, take that. The sword doesn't want a nasty soul like yours anywhere near it. Ooh, loser. <laughs> That's like the Angela line of all Angela lines. Darkshine Knights, like I gotta do everything around here. Other than deliver speeches. The sword of mana reflects the heart of its wielder. Good or wicked. The Dragon Lord's dark power will change the sword into a vessel of evil. Oh, is that you again, Duran? Nice to see you. We've... we've done it. <laughs> the Sword of Mana belongs to the Dragon Lord. So I haven't mentioned it in a while. I demurred a video ago, but yes, they work for the Dragon Lord. We are done here. The guy that Duran's dad... Supposedly now killed. Now we must use the sword on each mana stone to release the seals on the Benevadons. Fine. Our work is never done. <laughs> oh, hey, jerk! Mother! What have you done to her? You promised! I simply demanded the sword. I never said I would spare any of you in the end. It's true. He pretty much guaranteed they'd die if we didn't give them the sword. Didn't really guarantee that he'd do anything nice if we didn't. 
Sadly, I have no more time to waste on you, pitiful heroes. But do not fret. Once we free each of the Benevidons, we're totally going to work for us. Die sooner or later, you may live for now and watch the world perish. Consider it a gesture of appreciation for the sword. I don't know that I like this guy. <laughs> and it's it's frustrated that Duran, because only one character gets dialogue for us in these scenes. So Duran, who has a whole set of his own dialogue about the Crimson Wizard in all of these scenes, just never gets to say anything because Angela defaults. I'm so sorry. You lost the sword because of me. Losers. No, fairy. It's totally the Crimson Wizard's fault for manipulating my mother and stealing the sword. Now that it's come to this, how are we going to stop the Benevidons? Um, really carefully. Oh no! It started already! Quick! Let me back inside you! I'll show you what's happening to the stone! Nope, sorry, you're blocked. Change the locks. Close your eyes. Duran, Charlotte, you're just going to have to imagine. Oh, that's right. That would be why we can't use the stones to get our next class change. But where's the Stone of Darkness? So Malvolo, or whatever his name is, told us that the Dark Fantastic, whatever, transported it back this to this world, but... We have a chance to win this. Right There's still now, a chance to save Han. So Han. That's the joke. It's Han. So it was implied in the old game that they actually it made a difference. Like the earlier you fight each Benevidon, the easier it is. And that if you fight them out of... Oh... It already warped us out. Now we don't need to be going all the way back through that. Oh, but the door is closed. Yeah, we don't need to be going all the way back through all that stuff. Um, just to see what's in that screen. Where we usually talk to the queen or whatever. I don't feel we need to go all the way back there to see if there's a treasure chest. But, <sighs> but the timing's got it perfect. We may have a little bit more plot stuff. Uh, cinematics and whatnot, but yeah, I'm, I'm winding up a video right at about the time where I think I am free to go to the woods of Wandara and start grinding. So that's handy. Labyrinth of Ice, beat the Benevidons. Oh, okay. They're pointing me there. I, I, could pro I can use flamey in probably any of these screens. Usually towns and stuff, you're always allowed to use flame. You don't need to, like, navigate to a specific spot in the town. I thought we might get some cinematics here. The first time we hop on flamey. Because, uh, by foot, we could reach... Oh, it seems the Benevidon of Ice. But yeah, generally, you're supposed to hop in flamey and fly to where they are. I do not believe that's factually correct. But we gotta defeat the Benevidon. Crystal Desert, we can go there now? I don't think we can do anything here. I think this is where we're supposed to go after we've beaten the Benevidons. Because yeah, we're we're certainly more than halfway through the game. I mean, with these gold stars kind of guiding you where to go and so you don't get lost and wander around dungeons unnecessarily. It's really not a terribly long RPG, which is why it's nice that they make various efforts to give you some replay value with different party combinations and different plot scenes and stuff. But Oh, it's going to be the same deal. Like, we can't... It'll let us land, but we can't go here. That's how it worked in the last game, too, now that I think about it. I'm not sure, but it may be. We can even land at the first screen of the final dungeons of the other factions. They're just the plot event that would normally open up the door into 
the rest of the dungeon might not appear. But yeah, so we're going to go to Woods of Wandara. I'm going to save the game. I guess I should save the game before I go in, in case there's no gold statue for a while. Hey, uh, oh, yeah, well, we get to the Dragon Lord's final base. It's apparently the ending of Super Mario Bros. 3. No, it's a dragon-themed hideout for the Dragon Lord. There's the Woods of Wandar. Let's hit the, um... Oh. Probably a good time to be calling in a video. I'm getting a lot of heartburn now all of a sudden. A fairly spicy dinner, but not... I don't know, it's not the spiciest thing I eat. Well, whatever. Yeah, call it a session. Maybe grab some OTC heartburn meds. Do a little grinding. Go to bed. That's my plan. So we'll just hit the end here, just so that I can save. And I'll go to the Flowerburg of Dior, just so you guys can see the... Oh, I already did land there, so you've already seen the uh, intro movie for it. And can copy my reaction and pretend it's your spontaneous reaction as uh, appropriate. Stamina Serum... Ample incense. Strength serum. And an imps ring. That should do it. That should take us over. There we go. Leveled up. Max. Magic pot now level 5. Higher chance of enemies dropping seeds. Seeds have a greater, higher chance of yielding good items. So we might as well drop in our gold seeds now. Spirit serum. Opulent incense. And elemental bracelet. So, let's get those serums taken while we're still thinking about it. Heal status effects. So Spirit, Angela, or Carly, I don't know that that is this. I know it affects, eh, give it, oh, I think we'll just default to giving everything to Angela unless it clearly belongs to someone else. That being said, I think stamina is useful for everyone. And because I'm controlling her with reckless abandon, she's taking more damage than anyone else. But strength pretty clearly is a Duran stat. So, and I was going to say we need to save again, but we didn't save in the first place, so. Oh, come on! Jeez, I'm going to be done in like 30 seconds of this video, and you're going to pull this on me. All right. We will rest until morning. Dozing till dawn, lazy fuckers. Pardon hell, you fuckers. We will save, and... I mean, we're running over, but there's no great rush to win this one. So let's just quick wander over to the Wandor Forest and see how many screens. Just uh, run around a bit. I'm not going to advance the plot any. Just uh, enough to go over there and... Um... Oh, let's switch the camera around because we haven't seen her. We haven't actually seen her like I am playing a drum pose. Dwarfs, no longer relevant to the story. Dwarfs. So we will alight at the woods of Wandara. I don't even know if there'll be a plot scene where that wall of fines disappears or if we, it just disappears. 
but as you can see, Duran gets a whole lot more glowy. It's class changes. I guess maybe we didn't see this. Okay, but those, those those are the enemies I need to fight. They have a low chance of dropping question 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 seeds. Look at this sea of trees deep in Lampbloom Woods. If only it wasn't so dark here. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I may actually find some question 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 seeds in uh, treasure boxes here, but they won't be repeatable. And the other issue, the question, question, question seeds, every character has four different class change items that could drop from those. Um, I think if you've taken, because there's there's two terminating paths for dark and for light before they added the extra path, which I don't think has anything to do with the items. So I think if you've chosen the light path as Angela, for example, only the two terminal light path question seed items will drop. But um, I don't know that for sure, and you could always end up getting, like, four of the thing that gives her her light, light class when you're trying to get her light, dark class, etc. Is... Oh, I was about to say, why are they suddenly going sideways with this? And I'm like, oh, because it's suddenly a platformer. It's just like when Metal Gear Revengeance just decided it suddenly needed platforming. Because you take minor but still annoying hit point damage okay so this is actually very different from what I was expecting and it will be kind of a pain in the ass to grind in I'm guessing if I get to a more normal screen like it'll eventually it'll play like a normal section of this game Okay, so that is decorative. That is not how I get up there. Yeah, it's a platforming section of Trials of Mana. Who thought we needed this? Well, at least when they make you go to all that trouble for a seed, it's one of the ones that you definitely didn't want to miss. So now it'll be a matter of figuring out perspective in a game where you never usually have to play it this way. Okay, so that's the end of this zone. I kind of hope things get back to normal here. This is more like it. Okay. So I won't bother to do all of this on screen. I will be doing some off-screening of this. Eventually, I will on-screen the whole thing. But uh, as far as grinding for enemies, I will spare you that. In return, I expect you to show up bright and early, prompt and ready to go for the next video. With squeaky shoes on. Catch you next time, guys. Um, and depending on my patience with grinding, uh, when I do catch you next time, we may be back in the Manny, Ho Manny Holy Land. The Manny Faces. A.k.a. Manny Feces. Who, we might be back at the Mana Holy Land with our new class change. Or we might not. Tune in next time to see. Bye-bye.